my name is Herbert Parson. I work for the city of Memphis uh, Public Works. Been there since uh, 1968. Uh, was there during the strike. They had uh, a racial problem and uh, just you know, just it just pushed you like you was a, a animal or something. You know, no no respect whatsoever. They didn't want you to ride the bus because you smelled so bad from from a day's work from uh, picking up this garbage, toting the tubs on your head, uh, maggots falling down your your clothes, and then your, if you had cups in your pants, they'd be in there. When you go home, you would take them home with you. It took uh, Dr. King to come here to change things, you know. You are demanding that this city will respect the dignity of labor. For him to come, I've been around the world, Alabama, the Mississippi, and all around, and coming right here, the little small town of Memphis, to get killed for us, sanitation working. My name is Keith Johnson. Uh, I've been working for Solid Waste Sanitation Department for 28 years. The only reason why we're still standing is because of Dr. King. Now they're not only trying to take but they, they fought for a six day. Now they're trying to take the job completely. What they're trying to do is just make everything private sector, get rid of all public sector, because then they're, they're busting unions. Basically, that's it. They're trying to bust the unions up. The young people that are, that's working now, they, 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 they need benefits just like we need benefits at that time. We out here driving trucks that is totally raggedy. We got clothes hangers on the door, uh, won't shut. Uh, we got trucks, uh, you go out there, every, every, every day it's leaking oil all over the ground. We got trucks with bad brakes. Guy driving down the street and brakes that one, one stop, he pulled out, run past the stop there and, and run into a car. We, we had this on a number of occasions. The way I learned how to do this job is I came in and looked at the guy on the back of the truck, looked over to the other side and had to watch what he was doing to dump the can. No one trained me. And they're still the process. No one is being trained. So I, you have to watch what the other guy do. We have had some people come out here and get in the truck. You have to do a certain thing. They didn't even know how to crank the truck. They're trying to take the people back to the, what it was in 1968. And I, I don't like that whatsoever. One of the city council said, we think we sacred due to the fact of Dr. Martin Luther King coming here and it, what it, with all the stuff he, we went through here in 68. But it's a new day, it's time for a change. When you make a statement like that, you're saying that everything that Dr. King stood for, fought for, that came here for, is irrelevant now because this is a new day and we're going to kill his dream. Well, we all come together and just decide that we needed better working condition and, uh, and uh, more respect. Memphis is a great place, but we have a few problems, that's all. That we're going to get together and uh, fix it. Uh -huh.